Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the new drama theme song from the TVB drama called Brothers Keeper 2. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the favorite part of the song, my favorite part of the song, uh, the chorus part. And before we do this, I'm going to give you a preview of what the chorus sounds like. So before we learn it, we have some expectation of what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and show you. Okay, so here's a preview. So it's pretty long, we're going to split it up into parts and learn this awesome chorus. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the right hand first. Right hand starts on F sharp, so middle C, the F sharp just above middle C. Okay, so two F sharps, and then we go an octave above to this F sharp up here, and then D, and then it goes D, C sharp, B, B, C sharp, D, D, and then in... Okay, let's just call this the first part, okay? This is the first part we're gonna learn. Let's do it again. So, F sharp, F sharp, up to an octave F sharp, and then D, and then D, C sharp, B, B, C sharp, D, D. Okay, that's the first part of the chorus for the right hand. And then the left turn, uh, there is two chords for this first part, which is B minor, B, D, F sharp, followed by E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Just like that. Okay, the two chords once again is B minor and E major, these two chords, okay? So with that in mind, putting the two hands together, it goes like this. So right hand starts first with the two F sharps, and up to F sharp, right after D, B minor chord by itself. Right after D, E major by itself, just like that. Okay, one more time, so here, here. Okay, so with that first part out of the way, let's do the second part now. So right hand goes from this D, goes down to E here, and then goes up to an octave up here, this E, and then D, C sharp, and then C sharp, B, A, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, just like that. That's the second part. Let's do it again. So low E, high E, and then D, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, just like that. Okay, so that's the second part for the right hand. Left hand, there's two chords, is A major, A, C sharp, E, followed by D major, D, F sharp, A. With those two chords in mind, A major and D major, let's put the two hands together now. So right hand starts first, once again, it goes E, E, D, C sharp, after the C sharp, A major instantly. After the C sharp, D major by itself. Just like that. Okay, let's do it again. So it's like, here, here, and then here. Here, just like that. Okay, that's the second part out of the way now. So now let's go to the third part now. The third part goes to right hand goes C sharp D C sharp B B C sharp D and then down to G sharp, just like that. And then let me see. Should we continue on this part? Um, maybe we shouldn't. I guess. Um, there's a lot of notes here. So let's just call this the third part, okay? So C sharp D, C sharp B, B, C sharp D, G sharp, okay? Let's call this the third part for the right hand, okay? And then the left hand, the chord for the third part is G sharp half diminished, which is G sharp B, D, F sharp. Let's see if you can see the notes here. Yeah, you can. So G sharp B, D, and F sharp is the notes for this G sharp half diminished chord, followed by C sharp major, which is C sharp F and G sharp. Those two chords in mind, G sharp half diminished and C sharp major. Let's put the two hands together. Right hand starts off with the C sharp by itself, and then D on the right hand instantly for um playing the G sharp half diminished chord together. After the G sharp, C sharp major instantly by itself, just like that. Okay, one more time. So together here, just like that. Okay, so with that in mind. Let's go ahead and learn the fourth part now of this chorus. Right hand, after this G, it goes down to these two C sharps here. So it's like two C sharps, and then five Bs, 
One, two, three, four, five, and then B B A A B C sharp C sharp, just like that. Okay, let's do it again for this fourth part. So there's two C sharps down here, and then five Bs. One, two, three, four, five, and then two more Bs, and then A A B C sharp C sharp. That's the fourth part. Okay, for this fourth part, the left hand there's a lot of passing chords, so um, and also passing bass notes as well. So the first passing bass note is just F. You can do one note if you want, but if your hands are big enough, you can do an octave, so F, and then F sharp minor, F sharp A, C sharp, and then a passing bass note, G sharp, and then A major, E, C sharp, E, okay? These are the four um, bass note plus chords that we have to play. So F, F sharp minor, G sharp, and H major, okay? Those are the four notes that we have to play for the left hand, for this fourth part. So, putting the two hands together, um, right hand starts first one the end for two C sharps. The second B with the F bass note. On, after the fifth B, F sharp minor right away by itself. And then, second A with G sharp bass. After the C sharp, A major instantly. Like that. Okay, this part is a bit harder because there's more notes together. So let's do it again. So, together. Here, together, here, just like that. Okay, so that's the fourth part. Once we finish the fourth part, we move on to the next part. Uh, the fifth part of the chorus, which uh, goes like this. So it goes um, low e, F sharp, high F sharp, and then E, D, D, C sharp, B, B, C sharp, D, D. Just like that. That's the fifth part. Let's do it again. So F sharp, F sharp, E, D. D, C sharp, B, B, C sharp, D, D, just like that. That's the right hand for the fifth part. Okay, the fifth part, the left hand, the chords. Um, okay, the first thing is we have a passing A sharp note. And then we have B minor chord, which is B, D, F sharp. And then followed by E major, E, G sharp, B. Those are the three things they would play. Okay, so once again, it's A sharp passing, and then B minor. Once you get those three notes, uh, three things right for the left hand, let's put the two hands together. So right hand starts with the first F sharp, and then the high F sharp with the A sharp passing together. After the D, B minor chord by itself. Right after the D, E major by itself, just like that. Okay, one more time. Together, here. Here, just like that. Okay, so that's the fifth part. Let's move on to the sixth part now. The sixth part, right hand goes down to this E and then up to the octave E above. And then D, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, just like that. One more time. So the sixth part on the right hand goes E, E, D, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, A, B, C sharp, C sharp. Okay, so that's the sixth part for the right hand. Left hand for the sixth part, the two chords is just A major, A, C sharp, E, followed by D major, D, F sharp, A. Simple as that. So A major and D major. Once you get those chords right, let's put the two hands together. So right hand starts first once again. E, E, D, C sharp. Right after C sharp, A major by itself. Right after the C sharp, D major chord by itself. Like that. Let's do it again. So. Here. Here. Okay, so that is the sixth part. Okay, now moving on to the seventh part. Okay, the seventh part of the chorus. Right hand goes C sharp D, C sharp B, B, C sharp D, C sharp, and then uh, let's just finish this off. The seventh part is the last part of the song, and so it goes C sharp, C sharp B, B, A, G sharp, A, F sharp, just like that. Okay, so that's the seventh part and the last part of the song with the right hand. So let's do it again. So C sharp. D, C sharp, B, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, and then C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, G sharp, A, F sharp, just like that. So that's the right hand for this last part of the chorus. And the left hand is G sharp half diminished chord, which is G sharp, B, D, F sharp, followed by C sharp major, C sharp, F, G sharp, and finishing with F sharp minor, F sharp, A, C sharp, these three chords. So do those three chords again, so G sharp, half diminished, followed by C sharp major, followed by F sharp minor. Okay, with those three chords in mind, let's put the turns together. So right hand starts with C sharp by itself, and then D and G sharp, half diminished by itself. After the C sharp, C sharp major by itself. And then A and F 
Snapshot Mono together. And that's it. Let's do it again, so let's go. Here. And then together. Okay, that's it for the chorus. Really long chorus, a lot of stuff to like kind of break down and practice. But yeah, it's pretty cool. This chorus is really catchy. It's nice, it's kind of like a sad, um, sad and kind of like tense song, which is good for this drama because that's how it fits the, I guess, the uh, drama's content because it's all about like the tension between the two brothers and all these like kind of stuff happening. Okay, so after that you learn this basic version, you can just I guess practice it and then add extra stuff like what I do in my advanced covers with my more advanced improvisational techniques as I teach in my courses. You can check that out in the description below on my website if you want to learn how to do it. So for example, all of my covers I make up right on the spot, okay, based on this basic version. So for example, I'll do something like this. and just playing whatever I feel like on the spot just like that and that's what my cover is you can check out my cover for this song really cool song and then you check out all my other TVB covers I do all those songs normally when I just like like to watch the drama of that yeah and I like the song as well okay so just um for now I guess enjoy your time around my channel checking out all my other tutorials and covers which I have like over 1,000 for you to enjoy and yes in this time enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.